on the outside, people will think it's Mr. Class. Nevertheless, it's not Mr. Class. But who? But Christ, who lives his life in who? Inside Mr. Class' body. If not because we have called this man class for 40 years, for 45 years, all the years, we will have been doing a naming ceremony today. We will have needed to say, what shall this man be called? But you see, all of that is not the issue. That's why there's no need to say, okay, we must change your name. Otherwise, it's a brand new person entirely with a different identity, with a different destiny. Go on reading. And the life which I now live in the flesh, uh -huh. I live by the faith of the Son of God. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Now, go away from there. Where is our NIV? I have been crucified with Christ. Uh -huh. And I no longer live. And I no longer live. Is that clear enough? Yeah. Who no longer lives? All right. That old man, that mama that came here, no longer lives. I no longer live. If there was a friend that was a friend of that old person, what happened to her friend? Her friend dies. It's actually, he dies in Umutata, yes. <laughs> And it would, when we say he died in Umtata, it's because it is at Umtata you entered. Yes. Did you understand that now? Yes. It took some of us to travel all the way to come here only to now discover that we have not entered. And the, the people would say, where did you enter into this kind of thing? He say, when I went to Umtata, that old man died. The old mama died. You lost a friend. <laughs> Nevertheless, now go now. You say, I, I am crucified with Christ and I no longer live, yes? But Christ lives in me. Now, I don't want you to miss this point. I want all of you to take note of this point. It has been repeated. But what? But Christ lives in me. This is the difference. Many things that you knew before was using the old man to try to live for Christ. But God already knows that that life you carry can never live for Christ. He has nothing to do with Christ. He's a direct opponent to Christ. He is not concerned about Christ. And even when you see him trying to do something for Christ, he's only trying to please people. Do you understand? Some of you have been doing all that you are doing because you don't want people to be talking. I don't want people to be talking. I know that some of you, you will have scattered your marriage long ago, if not because you married in church. Yes. And the man inside say yes. If not for church, so that they will not be talking about somebody, I will have forgotten this. But for the sake of church, it's okay. <laughs> Some of you, it's because of your children. 
and you don't hide it. So, you see, don't divorce is not the matter for the old man. The old man say, I'm doing it just because I don't want them to labor me, labor me, divorce. You see, did you understand his reasons? His reason is not because he loves God. His reason is not because he fears God. His reason is because he doesn't like all the social stigma. So you see, when he goes to a place where it is not a stigma, he will quickly opt for it. Do, do, do you understand now? If you know how many people jubilated and were very happy when the laws of South Africa changed and made it a correct thing to do, ah, they say, yes, now we're free. You say, ah, why are they happy? Because they have never been happy before. Mr. Flesh has always said, well, I don't know why they are always forcing somebody to do what he doesn't like. Well, I'll, I'll keep, I'll, okay. <laughs> so, I want you to notice say, but Christ does what? Lives in me. So, what we are dealing with now is that, ma'am, who are you carrying home now? Don't be afraid, you see. Please, don't be afraid. Don't there's a religious fear that says, ah, no, 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 let me not say that. Oh, let me not. No, 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 no. Don't. That, that's part of that old man. That, do you know what the old man is saying? Don't, don't say that, oh, because if you misbehave now. <laughs> do you understand? The old man is saying, you better be careful because you will misbehave. I will still do what I used to do so that you don't say uh, something. <laughs> don't say that too. Mm -mm. But you see, the truth of the matter is that that man is no more here. The man that is here now is Christ. Amen. You see, the only reason why you can be a Christian is because Christ has come to do what? To live his life where? In me. Finish. That's what it is. That is what the Christian life is all about. Are, you, are we together now? Hey, did you get it? So, when we live here now, is it after three years that we will begin to experience Christ? No. When are we going to experience Christ? No. Now. Why? He is here. He is here. But where? In me here. He's living now here. And that's the eternal life. That's the righteousness of God we are talking about. That's the wisdom of God that we are talking about. That's the power of God that we are talking about. Christ. And that's the mystery of the gospel. Christ in you. The hope of glory. That's it. Are we together to that point? Eh? So when we say Yes, I'm born again. What are we saying? That the one that was born by my mother, what happened to that one? Is dead. With all his agenda, with all his misbehavior, with all his activity, with all his prayerlessness or prayerfulness, all of that died. I hope you know that some of you, when the old man was living here, you tried to make him prayerful. <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? Yes. You tried to make him prayerful. <laughs> but he didn't. You tried. Some of you, every time you want to enter a car, you like, Oh, 
none of that you did. You tried. And every time, some time when you want to sleep, you quickly do say Jesus. <laughs> and you put the, the Bible under your pillow. You see, that is his prayerfulness. And that man, there are Bible passages that are comfortable to him. He crammed that one. He crammed things like Psalm 35. When anybody against him, he said, Lord, wage war against those who oppose me. And all of this. He quoted that. Because he had found some part of the Bible that is useful. Are we together? And he likes it. He likes it. But all of that for him, he is not, he's doing that. If, if he finds anything useful in the Bible for his own agenda, he cut it. But whenever the Bible is going beyond the boundary, <laughs> what did he say? He said, no, 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 no. I don't, you stop that. I don't like that. I'm not interested in that area. That's that life. But the man that is here now is Christ. He said, but Christ lives in me. Yes, and the life? The life I live in the body. Uh -huh. I live by the faith in the Son of God yes. who loves me and gave himself for me. All right. A good news quickly. Go to good news. Good news, yes. We're coming to Amplified now. You can never overread the word of God. You can see now that, you see, the new man, he loves the word of God. It's not struggling to read Bible. I'm telling you. You see, when it was the old man, yeah, he can finish a novel of 400 pages <laughs> in one day. Yes. Now give him a small Bible pamphlet. <laughs> How fast can he read it? No, no. In fact, for one year, he has not finished it. Do you know why? It is the life inside. I don't like this thing. <laughs> I don't know why you are imposing what I don't like. I don't like reading this thing. I don't like this thing. Give me what I like. You are saying I, do, I should not read it. So you know, even when you decided to carry away all the novels, do you know that you were just looking at it and say, what are you doing? I don't like this thing you are bringing. What I like, you have not given me. So if it gets into a taxi, for example, because he doesn't want people that say they are Christians to be talking and saying, Are you still reading that novel? Are you still reading that novel? So he doesn't have it again. But when he gets into the taxi and he sees somebody reading that novel, what does he do? So while the taxi is going on, he's busy reading. And he could actually, if he looks left and right and knows that there is nobody that knows him around, what does he do? He collects that thing and he's reading. That life. Perfected hypocrite. So you see, it is not that kind of life that can go to heaven. So, I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live. So the life now that I live is Christ. So we read from good news. I've been put to death. Aha. It's no longer I who live. It is Christ who lives in me. Aha. Aha. 
Did you see that now? What did he give to me now? His life. That's the life I'm living now. Not living my life again. It's not my life again. Yes, message. Uh -huh. Indeed. Yes. Uh -huh. You see, when Mr. Flesh was here, did you know that it was so important for him to appear righteous before people? Eh? Not, not that he is righteous. Is to appear. Eh? Now, otherwise, otherwise, why is it that the thing you do in your bedroom, you don't do it here? Do you understand? Why is it that when you are talking, when you are quarreling with your wife, if a brother comes, why didn't you continue your quarreling? <laughs> eh? Do you know that that natural man, for example, some of you have been nice this week because Brother Bile is coming from Nigeria. <laughs> ah, you think I don't know? <laughs> you are nice. He said, This time, no, the brethren are coming from Nigeria, so let's cooperate, let's do everything. That's that old life. If it is not that old life that is always desiring to appear righteous before people. Why didn't you continue what you were doing before we came? That's what helps you to know that it is that old life you are still living. It's more concerned about appearance. People that have not been talking to themselves, so are you understanding? When they notice that the brethren are here, <laughs> bro, praise God, how are you? Now look, let's bury the our hatchet because the brethren are here. Let's do everything together so that things can work well. Let's not disgrace ourselves here. Yes. Eh? There's no there's no big problem. Let's just set to everything and work. So every work is going on well. So the people appear to be nice. So that we go back with a great impression that something good is taking place. Ah. Only to, to return. Then you give a phone call. Can we come for the service? You say, well, I don't have time. What are they talking about there? He said, ah. But we were all together planning that. They said, well, I don't have time. I have to go somewhere. I have to go somewhere. Why didn't you go to somewhere you were going this week? That's that old life. The new life that you have now does not have hot and cold. Do you understand? The new life we carry now is clean. Ego is not central. The desire to appear righteous before people is not important. Even the desire to plead, to impress God Hey, do you see that that Mr. Flesh also even tries to do what? To also impress God. He comes to make long prayer. People that pray so loud when we are in a meeting like this, when in their house, in their room, they don't pray five minutes before they sleep. That's that man we are talking about. If you know Mr. Flesh, you will know what I'm talking about. So most of the religion that is practiced is that Mr. Flesh. That's why it doesn't go anywhere. Because a desire to impress, to please people, to make people nice. Say, we are going to that meeting. Behave yourself. That's what the man says. 
Yes, aha. Uh -huh. May God give you that testimony. The life you see me living is not mine. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you see that now? The life you see me living now is what? It's not mine. It is the life that Christ lives in me. Now go on reading. Okay. Hallelujah. I'm not going back on that. <laughs> I hope that will be your desire. I'm not going back on that. As I'm going from here now, I'm not going back on that. The life you see me living now is not my life. Is Christ who is living his life in me. And it is lived by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And I'm not going to go back on that. Now, let's take that scripture again. You know, we have been reading one scripture. And the reason why we have been reading it is because some of you may think that, ah, this thing that we are reading, I thought it should take when I have gone to a big, no, 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 no. This is the simple instruction that we should have given. The day a man is born again. Do you understand that now? This is to say you are no more. You see, all the plan that Mr. Flesh had and he came here and had an accident and died. <laughs> what happened to all his plans? He's finished. There's nobody to continue the plan of the flesh. A new life has begun. Brand new person is here now. And that new person is Christ. So, you are going home now. You are carrying Christ. Your husband who is not here is expecting his old wife. <laughs> Am I right? But something happened to that woman that he married. What happened to that woman? Yeah. That one died. Now there's Christ now. In the first instance, he will not know. We're going to read the scripture about that. He will not know. He will still be asking. He will continue the old discussion. Do you understand it? And, oh, he will have talked and then they will be expecting the old woman to respond the way she used to. Only to discuss her. Answer. Say, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Aha. At first, they would think it is something that is wrong with you. He will not know that it is what is now right in you. Do you understand now? He will say, what's wrong with you? Because you're expecting the old person, not knowing that actually what is wrong with you is what died. It is what is right in you now that he's beginning to experience. It will take time. Because it's a different language entirely. Sometimes you may think it's a confusion that you have, you have gone there, you have been confused. You will not know that actually it is only now that you are entering into a correct life. That your confusion has just ended. You know he has lived with a confusion for years to the extent that he thought now confusion is the normal life. Mm. Do you understand that now? So he's now going to begin to reach, to touch the, the, the right kind of life. And if he is carrying Mr. Flesh, what we discover is that there will be 
a little a battle. You say, but this is not what I, this is not the kind of, that's not how to live. You see the flesh inside of him shouting, shouting, and he's only asking, where is the woman I married? Where is the woman I married? And there is no longer I that is, it's no longer here. It's Christ who lives in me now. Now, Help us read New English Bible. New English. We need it in Corsa. I have been crucified with Christ. Uh The life I now live. (coughs) All right. Does that look like what uh, she read? The life I now live now. The life you see me living now is not mine. It's not my life. Yes. But the life which Christ lives in me. Did you? Is it clear now? But the life 